So I want to talk about savings and I want to talk about why we save and I want to talk about how we save and where we save. Why you save will determine where you save. Okay. I don't like charmers, especially if your charmer is not giving you interest. You don't put it at a savings account because what the banks give you like 3%. What is that? Hi, thank you so much for coming. Uh, if you're new here, Karibu Sana, if you're returning, thank you so much. And please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Okay. My name is Nancy Obonyo. I live and work in Thailand currently, and this is what this uh, channel is mostly about. But today I want to speak about something that I briefly mentioned in my previous video, the video I did about side hustles. And uh, I mentioned, I remember I mentioned that uh, after we've hustled, we go and invest it or save. You know, and it's something like I, I made a joke about it, and my friend and I were talking about this the other day, and uh, she, she suggested that I should talk about it, you know, savings and uh, investing, especially uh, for us, the people living in the diaspora, you know, uh, it might be hard for us, you know, you might not be, you might not be, you might not know um, that you, you are able to invest without needing like uh, middlemen back home, you know, and I say this because so many of us have uh, been in situations where uh you like want to buy property or you want to buy land back home and uh you feel like you need someone uh someone has to be there physically so you trust your family or you trust your friends to go and buy this piece of property or you go buy this piece of land for you and uh most of the time these people are very nice like they send you pictures if it's a building that you're uh, bringing up they send you pictures of the building the progress uh, the progress and all of that and then you realize that when you go home there's nothing like that <laughs> they were showing you some of the random person land or some of the random building uh, all the while you're here sacrificing so much so that you can have something back home and then just someone squanders it, all right? So this is what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about savings and I wanna talk about why we save and I wanna talk about how we save and where we save because those things are, as, as simple as they might seem, they are very important, okay? Because why you save will determine where you save, okay? And I'll give like a small example. For example, me here, I save back home in Kenya, but I also save here. The main reason why I save here is because Living abroad in itself is already a risk, okay? And so I say for emergencies, anything can happen, you know? And this is money that I want uh, to I want to access as um, as fast as I can, okay? So that, uh, that would uh, automatically uh, deter, um, mean that I save this in cash, all right? So in that case, you can save in what we call our charmers or you can save you know, at a savings account. Though... <laughs> I don't like charmers, especially if your charmer is not giving you interest. It's a scam, guys. You know, it's it's the same as putting like uh, for those of, of those of who, who are uh, watching me and you don't know what a charmer is. It's like a merry-go-round. You know, you give uh, you take money every month from different people and then you put it somewhere in a bank account or something like that. Most of the time, it's not even. Uh, uh, giving you guys interest and so it's just almost the same as taking your money and putting it under your pillow because if you have 1000 this month and you don't do anything with it or it doesn't make any uh, make you any money next month it's going to be 1000 anyways what i was saying is uh where why you save is going to determine where you save okay if i want to save for emergencies i'm not going to put it in real estate because that is not liquid I mean, it's liquid, but it's not, it's like very low, it has low liquidity, you know? So yeah, this is what I want to talk about today. You know, as I was saying, some of us might not know that there are other avenues where we can save and you don't have to be physically there to save, okay? And I'm going to talk about them not in any particular order. And I'm going to talk about the stuff that I know, <laughs> okay? The other stuff you can look, uh, uh, I'm sure there's also like a pool of information out there, but I'm only going to be talking about the stuff that I know and the stuff that I have experience with, okay? So the number one place you can save your money at and where you don't have to be physically present is at a circle. But I have to say that a circle, which just stands for a savings and credit cooperative society, whereby um, like a society that takes, uh, takes money, takes your money and borrows other people. So they take your money. And then they give you back at uh, give you back interest, but the interest they're giving you is lower than the interest they're taking from people when they loan. Okay, so this is how they make the money. 
right so yeah so this is how a circle works you know so you give them you have, it, it almost works as a bank but it's not like a bank because first of all their interests are higher fairly higher than a, a savings account you know and also like for banks the people who uh, like shareholders might not necessarily have like bank accounts on there but as um, a, in a circles shareholder you have to be a member okay so this is why I prefer circles you know and it's as a, as a, uh, as I've said it uh, depends on membership because you realize that in Kenya you have like uh, circles for teachers you have accountants you have the police you have doctors and a Harambe circle as well which I read the other day that you should avoid like the plague <laughs> I don't know how true how true this uh, this is, but uh, there are quite a number of people who are complaining about Harambe Circle, so there has to be something there. Okay, so that is the one place you can uh, invest at at uh, a circle. I and the other thing about circles, uh, the the only disadvantage I can talk about is you have to know someone at the circle to be able to get a loan. Okay. I remember when I opened my circle account, I was very green. I actually didn't know anything about it. I just needed to like put my money somewhere other than a bank. So I walked to Stima Circle, opened an account. And then I went and told my brother, I opened an account. And I was like, where? Stima Circle. Do you know anyone there? No. <laughs> it was like, why are you saving? For the future. So I was like, Nancy, if you want to maybe buy land or you want to buy property and you want to take out a loan, they're not going to be able to give you a loan, you know? So those are like, uh, the one thing, the one lesson you can take from this is you always have to do your research, you know, like, uh, the only type of research I did was I went on Google and said, what's the highest paying circle <laughs> circle with the highest interest <laughs> steamer circle. I'm like, okay, we are going with this one, you know? So I didn't consider the other things, uh, you know, like, uh, is there anyone on there that can uh, be my grant or something like that? You know but yeah that's the only other thing that i can talk about circles you know the other place you can put your money at is at um a government bond okay governments they always take money from the public and uh, to put in our infrastructure or the projects that they're dealing with and then they give people back uh, the interest either after six months or annually or something like that again uh yeah it's fairly low risk because it's backed by the government though knowing those people in that government <laughs> you know but yeah, you can put your money at a government bond. This one, um, the government bond in the, the circle, you have to, unfortunately, you have to be there physically to open uh, the circle's account because they have to take your pictures, create uh, signatures and all things like that. And then also for like a government bond, you have to go make a CDC account with the, with the central bank. So you have to be there as well. And then the other one is mutual funds, okay? Again, they take money from investors, they invest it in bonds or securities, and then they give you back dividends, okay? Uh, you can, uh, there are quite a number of uh, mutual funds. There's also the one that I know is money market funds, where again, they take your money, do whatever they want to do with it, or they invest it. <laughs> and then I think they get more interest than they give you back. All right, and uh, there are quite a number of these. There's Cyton, there's CIC, there's Imele, there's Britain. Britain is like Cyton's mother. <laughs> Anyways, I again I can only talk about Cyton because Cyton is what I know. Um, they invest in real estate, though there's also they've been have they've had uh, quite a number of uh, problems in the past because they don't even have a trustee, guys, and uh, they invest in real estate. And uh, so far, right now, the real estate is not doing too well. And so, yeah, there is that. But the one thing I like about all of these things, the circle and the uh, the mutual funds is you can always, they have like web portals where you can always um, track uh, your, your money. And uh, talking about the money market fund, you don't have to be physically there to open uh, that account. It's everything is virtual, you know. I opened this fund when I was here in Thailand. You know, I have never seen these people. <laughs> I don't know who these people, but uh, the good thing is, I would cite them. They give you like a, a financial advisor, so you can talk about. I talk to him about or talk to them about like their products. Uh, they're always like uh, educating you on uh, so many things. Really, if you don't, you don't necessarily have to know everything about it. But there's someone to advise you, which is really good, you know. And plus, the re um, the fact that um, you can track all the transactions. It's also something that gives me peace. And then with the money market fund, especially with Saiten, 
you get your money you can get your money at any time all you have to do is notify them um within three days and i'm talking about the money market fund guys because i know there's a lawsuit that's currently going on about uh, people who invested in a different product now this product is called high yield let me not go too, uh, too deep into it, but uh, it's like different products, you know. So, again, before you decide on which uh, money market fund you want to invest in, please look, uh, go do your research, okay? See which one is liquid, which one uh, has, like, a good track record, which one is giving you more interest, and things like that before you, like, um, make your choice. Again, before you decide on a money market fund, compare it to circles, compare it to government bonds, and then other, uh, like, mutual funds. You know, it's very, very important. These days, you do not have to be physically there or you do not have to, like, send someone to do these things for you, especially if you cannot trust people, okay? You can do them virtually. And then the last one that I want to talk about that is very... No, actually, not the last one. The second last one that is very interesting for me is real estate, okay? So there are different ways in which you can invest in real estate. Number one, you can buy a piece of land, take out a loan and uh, buy a piece of land, and uh, pay it gradually and then if you don't have money to develop it straight away you can leave it there and then resell it later on at an appreciated price yeah or if you don't want to deal with the like that you can buy um, a piece of property something that's already developed and then you can rent it and then make it pay the mortgage make, make, it, make it pay the loan for you repay itself but it's not as simple as it might seem. You have to do all your calculations. You have to see if this, this is something that is feasible because you might realize that you're paying this loan for like 20 years and then event, and then this property has depreciated and now you're just like doing zero work, guys, okay? So you have to like um, do your calculations and your feasibility study very well, okay? The other thing you can do, and I don't know how, um, I don't know how, how popular this is back home, but you can flip property, okay? So what happens is you see something that is, um, of low uh, value like a property that's of low value say something that has been uh, in ruins or something like that and then you revamp it and then now you sell it at a higher price you can decide to sell it or you can decide to rent it it depends again this all just goes into you doing your calculations and seeing what makes sense okay the other one is you can join a real estate investment trust and i think this is what Saiton is doing yeah so they like take money from like different people and then they invest in real estate and then yeah and this is how they make their money so you can do that as well mm -hmm. the last one i wanted to talk about which is something also that i really would like to like um dip my fingers into is agriculture <laughs> I remember I was joking with my friend the other time and I told her, I'm going to go back to Kenya and start um, uh, planting organic Japanese pam uh, pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know why I would be uh, farming Japanese pumpkin in Kenya. I have no idea. But uh, agriculture is also remains something that has not been um, like um, fully embraced by young people. There are, there are a number of young people who've embraced it, but I don't think it's enough, okay? I was watching a video uh, by this Zimbabwean lady, um, and she was like, all of the marketing um, material for agriculture, you find old people, like a certain type of person, you find um, being uh, put in this pamphlet. And so they're not making any um, effort to make it look attractive to the young people, you know? And I, I think she had like a good point, you know? Because if we make it seem cool, you know, have like a beautiful girl on the cover of like a agricultural poster or something like that, or a book or any money uh, thingy, marketing a uh, brochure or something like that, then it will completely change, you know? And uh, yeah, I honestly am looking actively into that you know or just like farming does not necessarily mean like crops you can go also into livestock and things like that yeah and then there's also business which is again i don't want to talk about that it's really hard um having a business especially if you're abroad not unless it's online if it's something that's uh like uh, physical then it becomes really hard because like um no one is going to run your business as good as you do. You have to be like really, really hands-on on your business. And then the last one that I'm just forced to mention is a savings account, which don't do it. <laughs> Especially if you have like big plans for like that money, don't put it at a savings account because what the banks give you like 3%. What is that? Anyways, um, 
<laughs> that's all I had for today I hope you found this informative and if I've left something out please do let me know in the comment section and what you guys think generally or where else we can invest I'm really keen to learn because it's a learning process man so yeah that's all I had for today I hope to see you guys next time and please do subscribe if you haven't all right bye bye for